we're just a few weeks away from kidding and I am getting ready but it's been a few weeks and we've been working in lots of projects finishing this hotbed greenhouse to start my seeds pruning the blackberries we've been starting seeds and doing all those things that take quite a bit of time but the days are getting longer for us which means that in the middle of winter sometimes I find myself at night in the barn still with the girls and today I'm gonna bring you along on a typical nighttime routine but this one with a little bit extra Good evening. How's everyone doing? Having loads of fun? Good. I'm glad. I entertained them with that while I go get the one inside the house and then move it there. Yes. Yes, you're a pretty boy. Guys, I said I was going to feed you over there so I could get in here without being run over by babies. Hi Dom. Hi baby. Duke knows what he's supposed to be doing. Just in case it gets rainy, okay? Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. My beautiful baby boys. Okay, so I did a little shaving and you can start to see her beautiful first freshener udder. As you can see, it was a lot of hair, but I want you to look at the beautiful udder. She's standing kind of funny, so it's hard to see. I mean, I think it's not too bad for a first freshener udder and she still has six more weeks to freshen, so... It's looking pretty good. I'm hoping that by the time she's filled up, this medial, I can never remember, uh, will be a little bit more snug. And that way her teeth will point a little bit more down. Right now, I feel like it's not full. So once it feels, in my experience, they it just goes up, the teeth look into more the center like this let me see see and I love it I love it I I think it's a very pretty first freshener otter I did a little bit more than I should have I kind of trimmed the sides too because they were so long I could not see very well but let me move it away it looks pretty good and she's doing amazing I am very proud of you Gaia I am very proud of you because the people have seen. They've seen what you've done before. Throwing yourself in the ground. You remember? You wouldn't let me touch your otter. And now she is. This is with a lot of training. <laughs> but she is doing so good. Now I'm not going to torture her anymore. I'm going to try to get in Brie next to shave her and see how her udder is looking. From the side you can see this is Briere and her udder doesn't really show. So you can notice how her udder is just smaller than Gaia. Not the best lighting, it's later in the day. And I'm noticing the same thing that since it's not filled up, it doesn't have that big of an otter compared to Gaia, but it could be that just she's going to take longer. I mean, maybe she will fill up last minute, you know, right before she has her kids, maybe right after. She looks bigger than Gaia, so I'd always thought that she'd have more babies than Gaia, but the otter is 
super tiny. And again, they will develop their udder when they they will develop their udder. It has nothing to do with anything. But I like the suspensory ligament. Hers looks a little bit more snug than Gaia's. But Just again, a comparison so we can kind of see in the end what's gonna happen in you know comparison between their udder she's really upset she didn't like the clip and I didn't show me clipping her because it requires both of my hands <laughs> and there's not a lot of room here to put the camera so it was kind of um last minute decision of not showing what I was doing but I was just shaming to see what it looks like once we're She's only a month and a few days, so of course it's not going to show on her, but she's still getting in, she's still being trained, and she's still loving coming in here and getting her own treats, her alfalfa pellets, her grain, and again, just watching and making sure she is not only trained to the stand, but that she's also gaining some weight. Uh, as I showed you before in another video, she lost five pounds while we were away. When I started training them again to the stand and coming back to routine, I realized that she lost weight. So I'll have that video link top of the screen or in the description box down below. But so she's coming in, and she is out of everyone, she's the one that is getting the the most food and not only grain but mostly alfalfa because she is so sweet and she is so no problematic and she just that she doesn't really fight for food and if she's bullied out of it a couple times then she will eat but not as much as she would like to so right now we need her to put on some weight we need her yes we need you to be super healthy, so that's what we're doing. Okay. And Clara is throwing a fit outside because She's been really moody and challenging at times uh, with this pregnancy, so I, uh, I'm i kind of teaching her that I'm the one that's in charge and sh that she um, is not. So what I did is I brought Briere and I brought Gaia and even Athene before she is going to come in. So she will be coming in that there's no doubt about that it's just i'm trying to teach her to be patient wait and uh actually let her know that i'm the one that's in charge around here even though you don't think so clara yeah you think that you can do whatever you want you and your big attitude i do not appreciate that just so you know do not do not do not, do not push in the gate, young lady. Don't, don't do it. Claire is so upset that she's grinding her teeth outside. She's fine. She's not in pain. She's just a little bossy and, um, yeah, with a big attitude. Grind your teeth once again. I'll take even longer. Do not test me, young lady. Do not. Your hormones have nothing on me. And she hides behind that. I can still see you. We might be getting, um, which is totally crazy for our area, we might be getting some snow on Sunday. So I am trying to get done a few things before then. Saturday is supposed to be raining all day, so it's gonna be cold. I'll be doing stuff inside So today it was go 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 get everything done and it's uh, dusk and I am still getting things done. Are you done sweet girl? 
Oh, no, you're not. You're so good at things. <laughs> and you do know that. Taking advantage of it. Otter, <laughs> mm -hmm. milky, 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 milk. Okay, you're done. She let me know with the sweet. Okay, I think. Okay, sweet girl. Careful, everything's a mess. Come on. Come on, Nadine. Come on. She's like, can I have some hay now? Look at that. She's trying to nurse from Clara. You're such a baby. And this is Clara. Let me just put it far away. Um, again, this is just a comparison between the twins and Clara. She is due the same day as Gaia. And you can see that her udder is still not filled. But she is starting to develop one. And you can tell the difference um, between... A first freshener and I don't know I think this is her fourth or fifth and um, you can see the length of teeth you can see the medial see right here um, I feel like even Briere as a first freshener was showing a little bit different compared to Clara but hey not too shabby Clara not too shabby we'll see us you know, we still have six more weeks how she continues to develop. Annabelle's udder looks uh, different from last year. Her teeth, um, they seem to be getting longer. I don't know how to explain that. But you can see that hers are a little bit more pointing outwards. It does get fixed a little bit as um, she gets filled in. Still, it's something that we're dealing with her. And she, it, she has just the best um, skin in her udder and texture so her she's so easy to milk so easy to milk that it really doesn't bother me that her teats are not with a perfect placement but that's animal for you not too bad and again she's six weeks almost seven weeks away from freshening now this is Mocha's udder I don't know if it's focusing because of the light but she is not really developing a lot <laughs> and she is yeah seven weeks away so almost like Annabelle they barely are starting to develop an udder and you can kind of see that the shape of her udder is starting to look more like Clara's and this is her third freshening so it takes time for them to change that goes to show you how it depends on the dough. It doesn't matter. Now that I put everyone to bed, I'm gonna clean up this mess. This is like an everyday kind of thing, but without the hair. Today was hair. So let's get this. Done.